Hi, it's Darren here. I'm in the shed. Welcome back. Uh, just another update video to show you what I've been up to in the last week. Not much to the week because I've been at work, you know, with different shifts with the, uh, this coronavirus happening. So it's a bit uh, awkward getting here. I can't come here, but you know, it's tiring. I'm doing uh, a five till half past one in the morning. Uh, it is what it is, has to be done uh, to help things out in the country. Uh, anyway, I've got a new toy. I like me toys and gadgets. And when I say a good one, I think myself, yeah, I might as well invest in it. I had seen on a previous YouTuber uh, using a new selfie stick uh, with a stand on the bottom and a remote control. And I thought it would be easier if you could use that instead of having to press record, even though my daughter had said. You can do something on your phone in 10 seconds, blah, blah, blah. But this is easier for me because I'm not, when it comes to tech, I'm okay, but you know, not brilliant. But it's easier, like I say, with this. Sit back, press record, and it records. Fantastic. Anyway, like I say, we're going to do an update. Uh, I'll put this down. And I need a haircut, as you can see. But they're a tramp. But you know, there's no hairdressers open. I could do it myself, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, uh, we had some ice cream, and I thought to myself these are fantastic propagators, just little ones. So I'm going to give it a try. Uh, it's I don't know if I can say the name anyway. It's uh, you probably see it anyway. Right, anyway, it's that. It's Kelly's a caramel clotted cream ice cream. I don't know where you get it from. Is it from? Little or Aldi or Asda, I can't remember where my wife got it from. Anyway, so ate it. It's got a plastic top like that. You can't get the sticker on because I think that's printed on. And I thought to myself, a few holes on the bottom. And it's an excellent propagator. So I'm going to give that a try. Uh, so that's upcycling as you can see. Anyway, let's have a look around and see what's happening in the allotment. Watch change. So, as I was saying, I've got the Swede here, I've got the purple top turnips, and I've got the cylinder beetroot. Uh, they've had a few nibbles, so I might have to put the uh, mesh up, builder's mesh. Uh, me Loganberries flowering, fantastic. And me pear tree in the corner, which I planted, transplanted, uh, is starting to sprout back. I was a bit worried because you see me dying back, there's another one uh, which I'll show you, which I did a few weeks ago. It hasn't started to do exactly the same, so I'm hoping it's going to be saved. Um, the cherry tree, there's a few cherries on there coming on, so hopefully they might stay, they might drop. That's just the, the look that you have sometimes. Uh, gooseberry, there's a few, few on there. Me gojian berry, I might have to cut that back. It sprouted away, it was small last year, and I don't know why there's no berries on them. Uh, another cherry, as you can see there's some on there. Another, I think it's another Logan berry here. Uh, honey, honey berry. Uh, apple tree, so we've got a few apples on there. I bought myself a is Isla Kiwi, might be the size of a grape. And it was three pound from Asda, so hopefully it'll be okay. It's meant to be hardy, so I put it outside. So if it works, it's fantastic. If it doesn't, doesn't. Got nothing to lose. Might as well give it a try. And I was on about like another tree that I transplanted. So you can see some. I'd read that when the leaves are like that, it's conserving moisture. But hopefully it's not dying. Hopefully it's just ill, and then next year it'll come sprouting back. This year's got more apples. What a bounce! I can't say that word. Anyway, I've got loads. More cherries at the back. Uh, this is the cooking apple. Uh, a little bucket full of nettles and comfrey. A bit of fertilizer. People, you know, other videos they do say you're meant to like. Uh, 10 parts, one part comfrey, 10 parts water, but I'll just stick it in. 
I don't put loads in, so it's not a strong mixture, but it's full of nitrogen, iron, stuff like that. Plants seem to like it. My pile, my compost pile still. Seems to just get more and more. Rooster potatoes are coming through. I'm um, starting to get fruit. And the black currants and the white currants, I think they are. Uh, just a berry getting loads on there. My country's coming through. Might chop that back to get some, some uh, fertilizer. Oh, you can't really see, can you? Anyway. My summer broccoli's coming through, me beets, spinach beet, some cabbages in there, me herbs, uh, me savoy cabbage, mancha kale. Loads of stuff replanted. God, I've got so much more beetroot, uh, melon, uh, globe thistle, uh, rhubarb. From seed, cooper melon. Uh, I can't even see the word chrysanthemum. I think you see uh, they're coming through. Uh, some more tomatoes. Some some of that. Actually, I don't know. I've got two types. Yeah, two types. Uh, marigolds. Uh, Zinthia. Uh, more stuff coming through here. Some uh, what was it? Not sweet corn, corn bee, it's not. It's aubergine. Small, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, sage, Greek oregano, uh, them, some basil mini. Might have to replant them, they're, they're shooting away. Other things, more, more stuff put in, mint, some more sweet corn, some uh, sweet salt, and I tried them. Carrots in this thing. Long, let's see how that turns out. I've got some uh, rhubarb crowns. Uh, I've got morning glory, coriander. I've got so much going on. Uh, runner beans, need to get them in the ground. My onions and leeks, all great. Uh, sunflowers, narcissum, uh, more. Leeks, onions, spring onions. Uh, I planted some more spinach beet in here because obviously I'm trying, I'm doing different things. I uh, put the cabbage in here. Cabbage, sorry. Lettuce, as you can see, the huge in here. I put them outside. They're half that size. Okay, it's hot in here. I mean, boiling. Uh, they were wilting yesterday. I've, I watered them last night before I left and they've like sprung up. So, well, uh, it's a quick process here. Or I'll leave them outside. And see how see how quickly it happens but these are like sprouting away so i think as long as i give them a lot of water it'll be fantastic uh, this is pak choy uh, these have done better than i've ever done them before uh, normally i put them outside the rubbish i think they're doing great in here i might have to put some more seed some more for these they look great uh, like i say spinach beet i've just planted these out there's some out there and these are roughly the same size ones out there and these are like Two weeks later, uh, all my strawberries, as you can see, all coming through in here. Uh, I had to repot some more. I did a couple of three sunflowers, tomatoes, uh, butternut squash at the back, uh, my courgette, pumpkin at the back there. Uh, God, I can't stand the heat, it's so hot in here. And as you can see, Me raspberries. I wish I had a potty tunnel that was 40 foot by 40 foot because I would put everything in a potty tunnel. People ask, is it worth a potty tunnel? It bloody well is. You know, I've got some stuff outside, i.e., the raspberries, and this, they're like a third of this size. This is inside here. They love the heat. Look at them. I think this is even taller. It'll be. It's got to be massive. 
I need to sort out these leeks, they're starting to flower, but I will still be eating them. Uh, and four more chickens, which are up there. Young ones, obviously, they're, they're staying, away, staying away from the, the main ones that's been here for a year. We just start to get used to each other. So, four more chickens, so hopefully, that'll be eight eggs per day. Fantastic. Anyway, hopefully, you enjoyed that video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just a little one just to show you what's progressed. Uh, you know and spices do different things trial and error i like i say is the lettuce some of the polytunnel some outside the ones out the side are smaller the ones in the polytunnel are big i can always tell the heat inside there you know people do say don't put certain crops inside there because they don't like the heat but you can always see the difference heat makes the plants i mean progress so fast so Hopefully, if I keep on top of the water room for the lettuce, I get a good crop. Same as the air pack choy. I like trying different things. Uh, I did brush gas last year. Uh, got a massive crop off them. They were like monsters. Uh, so, like I said, I hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, ask any question you like. Hopefully, I can answer it. Anyway, it's bye from me in Cromarton, Northumberland. Uh, I'm in the shed. See you later. Bye.